So you likely found this video because you run PFSense in your home lab or rely on it to secure your business network. You've probably heard all the chatter on Reddit and YouTube about the recent changes announced by NetGate to the PFSense Plus Home Lab subscription and how it's no longer a free option. You've likely seen in these same discussions people recommending alternatives like OpenSense, but you can't decide if you should downgrade to PFSense CE or try something something new like OpenSense. Perhaps none of what I just mentioned affects you and you're simply looking for a PFSense alternative or maybe you are completely new to the world of open source firewalls and you are trying to decide what is best for you. Regardless of the reasons that you found yourself here, I am hoping to make your decision making process a lot easier. And in this video, we are going to briefly compare OpenSense to PFSense and talk about some of the advantages of using OpenSense as an alternative. We are also going to talk about how we can enhance OpenSense by easily installing the Xenarmor Next Generation Firewall plugin, which unlocks advanced security features like deep packet inspection and application and web controls. With OpenSense and Zenarmor, you can start exploring and benefiting from next generation firewall features for free in the comfort of your own home lab. So let's get started. If you already have PFSense deployed, you will be using hardware compatible with the x86-64 or AMD-64 architecture, or alternatively, you will be virtualizing PFSense in a hypervisor like Proxmox, VMware or Hyper-V. In some cases, particularly business use cases, you may have a NetGate appliance deployed running the PFSense software. The good news is that because OpenSense shares the same underlying FreeBSD operating system, it can easily be run on the same x86-64 AMD-64 compatible hardware or hypervisor that you're using for your current PFSense deployment with no need to invest in new hardware. Unlike most pre-built commercial firewall solutions, OpenSense is versatile and allows you to choose the hardware so you can build a tailor-made firewall solution for your environment's unique needs. It's compatible with popular ready-made hardware appliances like Protectly, and it can even run on older generation hardware like your old gaming rig or desktop PC. OpenSense has good driver support overall, so you're covered. If you are an enterprise user, OpenSense also has its own rack-mountable security appliances, which you can purchase directly from their store. These are similar to PFSense NetGate appliances, which you may already be familiar with. As you can see, you are truly spoiled for choice when it comes to choosing how you would like to deploy your OpenSense firewall. If you are familiar with the many PFSense Sense core features, you'll be pleased to know that OpenSense has a practically identical feature set. One of the main reasons for this is that OpenSense is a fork of PFSense and MonoWall, so it has retained those familiar aspects since its official release in 2015. This is advantageous to a PFSense user because it means you have a relatively small learning curve when it comes to setting up and maintaining your OpenSense firewall. Like PFSense, OpenSense also has an intuitive GUI to make configuration and maintenance an easy task. Off the bat, you will immediately notice familiar aspects like the system information, services and interfaces with the ability to customize your dashboard with additional widgets as needed. Because firewalling is essentially the heart of both OpenSense and PFSense, they both include a stateful firewall that supports IPv4 and IPv6 with all the rule customizations, logging and diagnostics one would expect of firewalls like this. OpenSense includes a few VPN options like IPsec, OpenVPN, WireGuard, ZeroTier and Tink which are on par with PFSense. So all your remote access needs are fully covered if you migrate to OpenSense. Multi-WAN support, high availability and hardware failover capabilities come as standard with OpenSense. Another good reason 
for using OpenSense is that it comes pre-installed with the Suricata IDS or IPS package, which is similar to PFSense, which uses the Snort add-on. Alternatively, you can use OpenSense with the Zenarmor Next Generation Firewall plugin, which can handle all of this for you on autopilot without the need to manage your own threat rule sets. If you've been using PFSense, you're most likely using the PF Blocker NG add-on to filter ads and malicious websites. The good news is that when you migrate to OpenSense, you can easily achieve the same level of DNS-based filtering using the block lists built into Unbound DNS that comes pre-installed on OpenSense. As an alternative, you can simply achieve this by using the Zenarmor Next Gen Firewall plugin, which takes care of all of this and more without the need to manage block lists. Some other worthy feature mentions are the QoS and Traffic Shaper, Comprehensive Reporting, Captive Portal, User Management, OSPF and BGP Routing, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, there are loads of plugins that you can easily install making OpenSense sense even more powerful. I'm hoping that viewing some of these features and capabilities side by side has cleared any doubts you may have had about migrating to OpenSense. As you can see, you're well covered if you migrate across to this firewall. Another major deciding factor for many considering changing their firewall is how well the developers and community support it, how often the product is developed, and finally how well it's documented. As for support, OpenSense has a large community across many many platforms like Reddit and YouTube, as well as an incredibly well-run forum, making it easy to find information and ask troubleshooting questions if needed. For those who are after priority business support and professional services, OpenSense offers this directly through their commercial support subscriptions, so rest assured help is always nearby when you need it. As far as ongoing development is concerned, this is where OpenSense truly shines. OpenSense offers weekly security updates and and a fixed release cycle of two major releases each year, which is great because businesses can plan their upgrades ahead. All of this comes standard, regardless of whether you have business support or not. If we bring PFSense CE into consideration, there was roughly a 1.5 year development gap between major releases 2.6.0 and 2.7.0, which is a fair amount of time. While this is not the case with the PFSense Plus, software that comes at a fee, it is worth mentioning here because having regular updates may be a big deciding factor for some, especially for those building home labs or non-business users who can't justify the expense to benefit from more frequent updates and don't want to be left behind. Proper detailed documentation is a must and a big deciding factor when choosing the best open source firewall for your needs. OpenSense has you covered in this regard and includes up-to-date documentation covering all aspects of the product, including configuration examples and step-by-step -step guides, so you'll never feel lost when deploying or maintaining your OpenSense firewall. Support, development, and documentation are covered, but how can we get even more from OpenSense by enhancing it with next-generation firewall capabilities? You've heard me mention the Zenarmor Next Generation Firewall plugin a few times in this video already, but perhaps you don't know exactly what it is, so let me fill you in. Zenarmor is basically a plugin that can be easily installed on your OpenSense firewall, which gives you next generation firewall features and is today's sponsor of this video. With Zenarmor, you get AI based cloud threat intelligence, affording Zenarmor the ability to detect and block malware, phishing attacks, and botnets in real time by leveraging deep content and TLS inspection that would otherwise bypass traditional DNS based filtering. Fully customizable application and web controls driven through policies giving you complete control over which applications and web traffic are permitted on your network including parental controls, ad blocking and enforced safe search. Comprehensive reporting providing you with 
real-time visibility of your network, enterprise integrations with Active Directory and Seam solutions like Splunk, Datadog, Waza, Elk, and so on. All this can be managed from anywhere using the Zen Console Cloud Management Dashboard available for free, regardless of the Zen Armor subscription you are on. It's also worth mentioning that Zen Armor can also be deployed on Linux or Unix based operating systems other than OpenSense as a secure web gateway in the cloud or SASE environment. It can also be installed on PFSense CE. However, due to PFSense Plus blocking third party applications, Zen Armor support for PFSense Plus has ended. It must be noted that your overall installation and user experience will be drastically improved using OpenSense because Zen Armor, through its partnership with OpenSense, has practically baked Zen Armor into the firewall for a seamless user experience. So you're probably thinking this all sounds great, but what does it cost? Zen Armor offers four plans, including free, home, small office, home office, and business, which I think are all self-explanatory. I'll put a link in the description below where you can go check out these plans for yourself. So let's consider the following scenario. You are a current PFSense user using your own custom built hardware with a PFSense Plus Home Lab license, which has recently been discontinued. You can't justify paying the $399 per year for a TAC subscription. However, you want regular major updates and security patches. You also don't really want to revert back to PFSense CE. What should you do? The first step is to remove PFSense from your hardware and install OpenSense and migrate your settings across. The second step is to install the Zen Armor Next Generation Firewall plugin on the free plan to benefit from the enhanced security features. The result, you will receive two major updates per year and weekly security updates with the Next Generation Firewall features provided by Zen Armor at zero cost. This is a Lot more valuable than running just PFSense CE in my opinion. Let's consider a second scenario. All of the previous concerns from the first scenario apply. However, you are enjoying Zen Armor and want to unlock more advanced security features and have better overall control over your next generation firewall what should you do? Well, the first step is remove PFSense from your hardware and install OpenSense and migrate all your settings across. And then secondly, install the Zen Armor Next Generation Firewall plugin on a home plan to benefit from all the enhanced security features, advanced security, and more customizable control. The result you will receive once again two major updates per year and weekly security updates with the next generation firewalls features provided by Zen Armor for $99 per year for up to 100 devices on your network. In addition to this, you get more advanced security functionality and customizable options. You are now essentially running a business class next generation firewall in your home lab for less than $10 per month. I think it's pretty clear by now that based on the previous scenarios that by combining OpenSense with Zen Armor, you are able to create a tremendously powerful network security solution with features usually only seen in much more expensive business grade firewall solutions. So are you ready to join the ever growing OpenSense firewall community? If your answer is yes, it's really easy to get started. Head over to the OpenSense getting started page and simply follow the steps. Steps. Once you've successfully installed OpenSense on your hardware, don't forget to install Zen Armor to build your own next generation firewall at home. If you want to explore all that Zen Armor has to offer, including the enterprise capabilities, you can get started by signing up for a 15 day free trial. No credit cards are required. But that's all that I want to share with you today. If you've enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also share it with your friends. Thanks again for watching and I'll I'll see all of you soon.